What is happening guys, Gary Yaman here, back at it again with a new video. Hope you're doing well, hope you're safe and happy. So in this video, we're gonna talk about this lens right here, the Sigma 16 to 28 f 2.8. And as always guys, we're gonna divide this video in several sections. The first section will be about the most boring stuff and that is the build quality. So as you see, this is quite a basic lens, but what I really love about this lens is that it has a internal zoom, meaning that it doesn't extend at all. It just stays at the same size, that same compact size that I really like about this lens. So that makes it a good lens for, let's say on a gimbal, so you don't have to adjust the balance and stuff, right? So that is something that I really like about this lens, a nice, simple, clean looking lens. And you know, it is a Sigma lens. A Sigma always makes great quality stuff. And honestly guys, I don't have any real complaints about this lens. It is nice, compact, small, and it has all the needed features, I would say. So no extra fluff and stuff, just a normal autofocus, manual focus switch, and a nice hood, and a filter thread of 72 centimeters, or 72 millimeters, my apologies in that. So this is a contemporary lens, so not the high class A lens that they have, just the basic ones, but still the basic lenses are still really good in terms of build quality. Made in Japan, and other than that guys, it also has a weather sealing gasket at the back, and the front element is not bulky, so you can just place a filter on it without no issues. On the Sony a7 III, it looks pretty good, right? It looks nice compact not that huge and walking around with it take pictures with it you know it's this nice compact even without the hood it's even more compact and yeah i like it so let's continue on to the more interesting stuff and that is of course the image quality we're going to divide this section in two sections so the first one will be about photo and the other one about video so let's check some photos first and as you see right away on the left side, JPEG, right side, the edited raw photo. And straight out of camera, the JPEGs, especially at 16 mil, you definitely see a huge distortion, right? So make sure to check that if you are uh, shooting in JPEG, that the distortion is quite visible. But if you shoot in raw and you just edit the photo and you select the right lens profile, of course, then you will get rid of the distortion and everything looks perfectly straight and perfectly fine. Well, that is in terms of distortion. And what about like the colors for production and stuff like that? You know, it is a Sigma lens, a Sigma. Also in terms of image quality, everything looks really sharp, really nice. And I don't have real complaints other than the distortion part. At f2.8 is maybe not the sharpest, but f4, f5.6, all the way up to f11, I would say everything looks perfectly fine. You can also get some sunburst action here and there if you shoot an f13 or from f11 to f13 i would say you'll get some sunburst burst star burst sunburst whatever you want to call it that little shapes that looks like a star you know what i mean right so that is possible if you're into that type of stuff but for image quality i would say it's pretty good for photos for video i would say the same thing so I may be a little bit boring today, a little bit like repetitive, but I have to say guys, it is what it is. It is a nice image quality straight out of camera. It looks good. After editing, it looks even better. So no real complaints here. Stuff like color fringing and stuff. It is there at f2.8. You can easily get rid of it with no uh, real issues. In terms of image quality, I would say it is definitely up there with the big boys. So let's switch to the autofocus performance. And here I saw some videos on YouTube where people were saying that the autofocus is not the best, but honestly, for my purpose, the way that I shoot things, the autofocus is maybe not the fastest in the world compared to other lenses, but for this lens, for my usage and the way that I do things, it is fast enough. I'm gonna show you some clips and this is what I see. And what you'll see as well in this clip is that it works perfectly fine. Maybe not as fast and snappy as some other lenses, but it is reliable. So to me, that is all you need, right? So if you are into fast pacing stuff as well, like fast movement stuff like that, maybe this is not the right lens for you. But if you are like a little bit relaxing, slow pacing stuff, you know what I mean? Then this will be up in your alley, especially with wide angle lenses. Maybe you're using this for like interior stuff 
you don't need a fast autofocus, right? So maybe even you don't need autofocus at all. So you know what I mean? This is just in terms of autofocus, which is good. This is, is good. Not the best, not the greatest, but also definitely not the slowest. So I think the autofocus is pretty good as well. Now, the conclusion, we got good build quality, good image quality, and good autofocus. So in general, I'm happy with this 16 to 28 millimeters f2.8 wide angle zoom lens. And it's also quite affordable compared to the Sony GM, like the 16 to the 5 GM lens, right? Especially, the, it doesn't matter if you have version two or the second generation version, both are quite expensive still. And this is just around, right, way below uh, 1000 bucks so that is quite affordable i would say at least here in the netherlands not sure in other countries but here in the netherlands it is like 899 euros so roughly i would say just below 1000 us dollars not sure showing it here on the screen so yeah anyways it is affordable good quality good image quality good autofocus performance and it is a nice compact lens as well so yeah, it is, a, it is a great lens to consider if you're looking for a ultra wide zoom lens. Other competitors, as I mentioned, the Sony 16-35, you also got the f4, but also the f2.8. And of course you got the Tamron 17-28 f2.8, which is even more affordable. And it has roughly the same image quality, but not the same build quality, right? So yeah, so I think that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you got any questions about this lens, let me know in the comment section down below. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Good luck.